Hello all, Sirius Lees here for a quick tips and tricks video for the orbital update. I've seen a lot of people showcasing how to do salvaged starship scrapping from wrecked ships, get finding your own wrecks and all that. And the one thing that people are asking a lot in chat, there's two questions actually that we're going to answer today with, with one stone here. Two questions with one stone. What is the purpose of having an Atlas Pass anymore? Uh, because the space stations no longer have back rooms. First of all, all of those back rooms are on planetary bodies. You can find every single back room you used to be able to find on the space station on planets still to this day, so you can unlock those rooms and still get those things and that lore, etc. Secondly, secondarily, we have these barrel fabricators, which are a building part that you can place on any base you have or on your freighter, and they give you different items depending on where you place them in the world. And if you place them on your freighter, based on where your freighter is in space. So if you don't like what you're getting on your freighter, you can just move it somewhere else in the star system and try the barrels on your freighter again and you'll get different stuff from them. However, if you put them on a planetary base, they should always be the same stuff. So we're gonna be here at one of my bases. We're gonna grab a couple of these that I put on the landing pad. Three navigation data. There's navigation data. Oh, uh, one of these gives condensed carbon, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, I guess it's this one here, condensed carbon. Uh, I should move that one. But you can position them, and they will always give you the same item. What we can do here to showcase that is to go to see where my navigation data is. Here we are, we're at 24 out of 40 in that stack, so let's make a new save. And instead of uh, picking this up and putting this back down again in the exact same spot, we don't need to worry about that. All we need to do is do a quick reload of restore point. And hopefully, <laughs> we'll get all the exact same items. So we were at 24. Yeah, they're all green again. Navigation data, navigation data times three. Uh, the benefit of putting these on your freighter, this one here will be condensed carbon every time, uh, is that you don't need to do a reload of your game to get these to reset to green. All you need to do is go down to your landing bay where your ships are and straight back up again and they will be reset to green and you can just loot them, go downstairs, loot them, go downstairs. So if you build a room on your freighter of a dozen or a whole room surrounded in these things and you just go up and loot every single one, run back downstairs and reset it and maybe move your freighter get different stuff every time you reset it. Very, very, very quick way to get lots of nav navigation data. This base here gives six every time I visit it. Uh, I haven't had a need to collect it in big quantities before, but I might spend some time expanding this process to give even more navigation data for myself at this save. Even though I've got plenty of money and I can just buy the ships I wanna scrap, it is a great way to get your navigation data. So that's it for today. Barrel fabricators, go buy the base part on the Space Anomaly, and uh, here you go, in the menu, whoops. They are in this category, furnishings, uh, right here, barrel fabricator, right beside the crate fabricator. This also gives you items, but generally not as useful as the ones you get from barrel fabricators. It costs you one antimatter each, and one of the items that you can get from opening a barrel fabricator is an antimatter. So you can just keep making these to make more of themselves, which uh, works out great. So yeah, barrel fabricators, quick way to get navigation data, make a base, drop a couple down, and figure out what they give. Move them around till they give you the nav data that you want. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> but that's it for today. Till next time. Have a good time.